He is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. All day long, all day long. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. All day long, all day long. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister and Deacon Polk. God bless you, Reese. God bless you, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Jewel. Good morning, Pastor and Lady Young and the Young family and the Rock Church of Brockton. God bless you, Mika. God bless you, DJ Forgiven. Good morning to you. Good morning. God bless you, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you and your family and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Sister Caldwell. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. And we are holding you in prayer. Good morning, Lydia. God bless you. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor and Lady Williams. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of United Refuge of Orangeburg. Good morning. God bless you. Sister Mary, God bless you. Elder and Sister Adams, God bless you. Sister Caldwell, good morning. Sister Rodriguez, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Brandy. God bless you. Good morning, Katrina. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Elder and Mother Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Taylor. God bless you. Good morning, Tammy. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Minister and Mother Morris. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Wiggins. God bless you, Brother Wiggins and your family. Good morning, Sister Janie. Good morning, Sister Sarah. Good morning, Sister Diaz. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Cheek. Good morning, Dr. Haywood. God bless you and Sister Hayward and your family. Good morning, Sister Dion. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Stimson. God bless you and Deacon Stimson. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Riley. God bless you. Good morning, Francine. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Sister Pedlar. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Saunders. God bless you. Good morning, Sir Dendris. God bless you, Deacon Stokes, and the entire family. Good morning, Mother Holman. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Clark. God bless you, and Deacon Clark. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Glean. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we're thanking God for his grace, his mercy. We're thanking God for traveling mercies and we're thanking God for everything that he is doing in our lives. God is answering prayer. Um, I'm celebrating with the graduates of our church and graduates all over the country. We have uh, um, one of our young men, Daniel Perkins, hallelujah, graduated from the early college program in, um, in Durham, North Carolina, is going on to Duke University. And we're excited about that. We're excited about Azaria Peterson, another 
another one of our young ladies who graduated from Elon University, and I'm sure I've left somebody out, but we're just celebrating all of our graduates, what they're doing, what they're accomplishing, and we are thanking God for their pursuits because the one blessing about Azaria and about Daniel is that they are filled with the Holy Ghost, and we thank God for that. Hallelujah. God blesses and honors his own, and for that we are grateful. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it in the chat, or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat, or you can direct message Pastor RJD, and to everybody that's on the conference call, and we thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody that's on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request, and that number is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number to text your prayer request is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text them. We're adding them to our prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Come and go with me now. Back to the second chapter of the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter number two. And I want to read verses 1 through 9. Proverbs chapter 2. And I want to read verses 1 through 9. The Bible says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart unto unto understanding, If thou criest after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding, if thou seek her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. Yea, every good path. I want to talk to you for a moment from the subject, finding the knowledge of God. Finding the knowledge of God. The the psalmist or the songwriter, in this case the proverb writer, Solomon, um, describes wisdom as a hidden treasure. And that implies that wisdom is something that should be valued. Do we truly value wisdom? wisdom or is it just simply something that we think some people have but other people never get access to is wisdom something that anybody can attain is wisdom something that anybody can achieve and as I read the scripture um, it implies that anybody that is willing to seek after wisdom can gain access to wisdom let me say that again anybody that is willing to seek after wisdom can can gain access to wisdom. Meaning that um, you don't have to live your life foolishly. You don't have to live your life in a unrighteous or an ungodly pattern, but you can indeed, indeed live your life and walk in the wisdom of God. But it also implies that not only is wisdom something valuable, but wisdom is something that should be sought after. In other words, are you seeking wisdom? Are you searching for wisdom? Are you digging and looking for wisdom? Or are you simply accepting whatever is thrown at you, whatever is um, shared with you, and accepting it as righteousness? You know, I, I, I watch young people. And I'm not picking on young people, but I watch young people. I work with young people every day. And I'm always amazed as to how easily they will accept what their friends say. 
but at the same time reject what something that something that someone of age will say their parents their grandparents the teachers the uh, admi the administration of school that people are telling them right but because they're so geared towards the mindset that I need to follow my friends they ascribe what the friends tell them as wisdom as opposed to what other people who have lived who have lived I mean your parents have lived your friends have lived and and and, and they have experienced life and made their own mistakes and learn from those mistakes and hope for some of them are godly and they want you to have the godliness that comes with life and experience and knowing God. And it's strange to me that many will reject that and run after the wisdom or the foolishness of those of their own peer group. But but that's the nature, you know, that peer pressure exists at every level. I don't know if you know that or not, but even those of us who are as old as I am or older than I am sometimes succumb to peer pressure, just the pressure of people around them rather than pursuing the mind and pursuing the, the, the wisdom of God. But he says, if you seek after her as silver, in other words, this is looking at wisdom as being something precious. He says, then shalt thou find, shall understand rather the fear of the Lord. You shall understand. We, it, it, the proverb writer says this in chapter one, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It's the very surface level. Just you acknowledging God for who he is. Just you honoring God for who he is, is the gateway to knowledge. It's the door open for knowledge so that you can grow and live and develop based upon, hallelujah, that fear, that reverence of God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. And, and the goal of every believer is to understand the reverence of God and to find the knowledge of God. We want to know what God is trying to share with us. It's a sad thing to that God is trying to teach and share. It's one of the saddest things about education and public education is that because it's free, many people don't value it and they'll spend the entire semester doing nothing. They, they barely go to class. When they go to class, they don't come, come prepared. When they're in class, they don't do any work. They don't do anything. They just simply sit there or skip the class or don't show up for the class. End of the semester, some of them try to scramble to get work done, scramble to get ready for the exam, but they ignored, they did not pursue knowledge. They didn't pursue school knowledge. And if they're not pursuing school knowledge, you know many of them are not pursuing God's knowledge. God trying to teach, God trying to give information, God trying to unfold his wisdom to other people. But for whatever reason, they're not seeking it. They're not going after it. They're not trying to find the knowledge of God. But this is the point. For those that will seek, for those that will look, for those that will try to understand, the Bible says, look at Proverbs chapter 2 and look at verse 6, for the Lord giveth wisdom. You don't have to buy wisdom. You don't have to purchase wisdom. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to, hallelujah, get a credit card to purchase it, but the Lord is giving wisdom. And he's giving wisdom, first of all, through his word, through his word. The word of God is full of the wisdom of God, the righteousness of God, the understanding of who God is. All of that is contained in the word. And then he speaks through the Holy Ghost. He is speaking wisdom into the lives of people. Out of his mouth cometh what? Knowledge and understanding. When God speaks to us, it is not foolishness. It is not foolishness hardiness. It is not simply lost information, but it is God trying to impart his will, his understanding into the life of, into the life of every believer. He layeth up sound wisdom. He layeth up sound wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge. He gives wisdom. He gives understanding. Notice what the Lord is giving. He's trying to unfold it, unpack it, and share it with us so that we will understand. He's 
trying to give us discernment. He's trying to give us judgment. He's trying to help us to walk upright because the wisdom of God leads you into the righteousness of God. Let me say that again. The wisdom of God leads you into the righteousness of God. When you're willing to follow God's wisdom, you're willing to walk in his statutes, you're willing to live by his word and take on the righteousness of God. That means you become an upright person and that's a wise thing. What a foolish thing it is to be ungodly. What a foolish thing it is to be without God. The Bible says the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. And that spirit that denies God's existence, that spirit that lives in rebellion and disobedience, that spirit that is constantly trying to have its way rather than to live in the ways of God, that spirit is a foolish spirit. But he says the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous, and he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He's a protection, saints. He's a protection to those that walk upright. However, the upright identifies those who are true believers who seek to know, love, and obey God and to live righteously. They are seeking it. It's not something that God's chasing them with. It's not something that's considered to be a burden upon them but it is the desire to know. It's the desire the upright want to know. The people who are righteous want to know. I want to know what God requires of me. I want to know what God expects of me. I want to know what the word, hallelujah, is holding me accountable for. I want to know it. I just don't want to wander around, hallelujah, thinking I'm saved, thinking I'm pleasing God, thinking I'm doing the will of God, just to come to the end and have the Lord say, depart from me, ye work of iniquity. I want to know. Anytime I get involved in any opportunity. I'm always interested in reading the criteria. What's required for this job? What's required for this degree? What's required for this, hallelujah, scholarship? What's required, hallelujah, for this opportunity so that I can meet the challenge of the opportunity? And if I'm going to live for God, I need to know from God what is required. That's why you don't take your faith at the word of somebody. You open your Bible. You dig in the scripture. You search the scripture. You read the word so that you can know for yourself what God requires. What a sad thing to depend upon somebody who is as foolish or as ignorant as you are and end up missing the mind of God when you can go to God for yourself. Hey, Shatama, you can go to God for yourself. You can read the word for yourself. You can hear the word, understand the word, and know that God is the giver of of knowledge. He keepeth the path of righteousness and preserveth the way of his saints. He preserves the way. He makes the way. He preserves the path so that we can live and walk in his statutes. And then finally, then shalt thou understand righteousness, judgment, and equity. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, judgment, and equity. Righteousness refers to God's requirement. What does God require of us? What is God asking of us? What is God determining that we must do? That's what I need to know. Don't let me walk around, hallelujah, thinking I'm right and I'm not right. Lord, show me what I must do. Tell me what I need to know. And then there's judgment. Judgment is when we righteously deal with other people. We deal with other people in a state, hallelujah, of dealing with them righteously in a godly fashion in a godly mindset. And then there's equity, which which implies fairness. I'm going to treat people like I want to be treated. I'm going to treat people the way the Bible says I'm supposed to treat people, not the way the world's doing it, not the the dog-eat-dog world, not treating people like they're strangers or whatever, but I want to treat them the way God would have me to treat them because that's the expectation. And saints, as I close today, God is expecting every one of us to seek after, to pursue, and to find the knowledge of God. Because when you know, you do.
when you know you do, when you know you speak, hallelujah, when you know you operate in that correct spirit. And I'm here to tell everybody, if you've been on the wrong path, if you've been walking in foolishness, if you've been living in ungodliness, the Lord gives wisdom. You don't have to die. You don't have to be foolish. You don't have to be ungodly. You can walk in the wisdom of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for another day. Thank you for traveling mercies. And thank you, God, for last night's rest and for waking us this morning. Lord, we're in our right mind. We have the activity of our limbs. We were able to get out of the bed and get prepared to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. Lord, I thank you this morning for the morning prayer family. I thank you for everybody. And whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call, thank you that we're all together in the prayer room right now. And Lord, I'm asking you to flood this prayer room with your glory, with your presence, my God, with your greatness, Lord, to the meeting of needs of every person that has joined this prayer. Lord, I thank you because there's miracles, signs, and wonders being release right now. There is unexpected favor coming into somebody's life, coming into somebody's heart and mind and family dynamic and relationships. Lord, I thank you right now because you're saving right now. You're delivering right now. You're touching people right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I'm asking you, God, to look on everybody in the prayer room today and God work on their behalf. Look on everybody. Oh God, every prayer request has been submitted in the chat, by text, by messenger, by email, however it's come, Lord. We lift up the request to you because we believe right now you are able. Lord, there is nothing too hard for you and we're praying, my God, for your hand to deliver and touch now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying, my God, for Bishop and Lady Alday, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Jenkins, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop Clifton Staten today. We're praying for Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Davenport, Apostle and Lady Keith, Apostle and Lady Parsons today, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle and Mother Jackson today, Apostle my God, and Lady May, Apostle, hallelujah, and Mother Clark today. We're praying for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson and Irvin Johnson. We're praying for Sister Sheila Reed. We're praying today for Mother Barbara Pittman, for Deacon Lewis. We're praying for the Mason family today. My God, we're praying that you will remember Stacy and Trayvon, God, in the name of Jesus. We're praying, hallelujah, for Margette Golden today. We're praying for Sylvia Matthews, for Josiah, for Sheila Scott, for the Scott family the Brown family, the Hare family. We're praying for Crystal Spencer. We're praying for Tina Spencer, Spencer, for Andrea Spencer. We're praying, my God, for Dr. Haywood and his family. We're praying for Sister Janice Bobin and family. We're praying for Kathy McWhite and family, for Deacon Grant and family, God. We're praying today for, oh God, Lady Lisa Kinchin. We're praying for Sister Seneca Austin today. We're praying, my God, that you would stretch out your hand in the name of Jesus too. Hallelujah remember Jamal and Dakasha today. Remember my God hallelujah Terrence and Manessa and remember the entire Greer family today. God remember them in a special way and touch because we know that you're able. Lord deliver by your power, by your blood, by your mercy today. God my God and save God to the utmost right now. Everybody on this line, everybody that has loved ones that are not saved. I'm praying my God that you 
you would stretch out your saving arm, Lord. Bring them to repentance and let them be born of the water, my God, and of the Spirit. I'm praying for backsliders today, people who have drifted outside of the ark of safety, that, God, you would touch them and bring them back to the fold. Lord, your arm is not too short that it cannot save. My God, your ear is open to our cry. And remember everybody that's burdened, everybody that's downcast, everybody that's in despair, everybody that's troubled by life, everybody that's discouraged or depressed. I'm praying, God, that you would lift their head. Lord, I'm celebrating the graduates today, high school graduates, college graduates, graduate school graduates. Lord, I'm thanking you because you give us knowledge and information. And Lord, I want you to bless them in their next steps. Some going to college, some going to, to, into careers, some going into the military or into the workforce. But whichever way they're going, I'm praying, my God, that your hand would be upon them and that you would deliver them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying for the sick today everywhere, everywhere, God. Somebody is suffering in their bodies and we're praying for them now because we believe, Lord, that you're a healer and we believe there is nothing too hard for you. We pray today for Pastor Kevin Kinchin. We pray today, my God, for Mother Rivas. We pray for Mother Blunt today, for Mother Brian. We pray, my God, for Charity Stroman. Lord, stretch out your healing hand right now. We pray, God, that you would remember, my God, Cynthia Jackson Perry today. Undertake, God, and touch her body in the name of Jesus Christ because we know that you are a healer. God, we're praying for everybody battling a sickness today because we know, we know, we know for a fact, God, that you are the healer. You are the balm in Gilead, and by your very stripes, God, we are healed. We're praying today that you would remember, my God, Princess Joyner. Remember, hallelujah, Aquanetta Williams. Remember, Roberta. Remember, Keisha Watson. Remember, my God, Keisha Bryant today. Remember, Stacy. Remember, Rhonda Brown. Remember, Tyrone Nash. Remember, Stephanie Rickenbacker. Remember, Heather today. Remember, Willie Barnes. Remember, Angel's father and brother. Remember, Avenel Hector Joseph. Remember, LaShawn. Remember, Rita. Remember, Lillian today. Remember, Mother Harris. Remember, Rosa Smith. Louise Williams. Donna Severus. Remember, my God, Bessie Poles and James Gray. Remember, Pastor and Lady Hash today. Remember, Marie Frederick's daughter. Remember, Mr. Preston. Remember, Judy Thomas today. Pastor Lola Blunt. Remember, Kristen Myrick. Michael Williams today. Remember, Shakita Bazemore. Remember, Mother Hudson today. Mother Lillian Sharp. Sister Jackie Poole, missionary Teresa, Har oh God, hallelujah today, Rem hold today, remember Deacon Ganey, remember my God, missionary Anita Bryant this morning, everybody that's suffering in their bodies, God touch them and heal them in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for Minister Perkins, for Daniel, for Xavier, for Deacon Adams today, for Deacon, hallelujah, and Mother Wilson, for Deacon and Sister Harrison today, for Brother Phil Solomon, God, remember my God, Elder Toll's mother, Remember, my God, Elder Toll and Elder Dokes today. Remember, hallelujah, Mother, hallelujah, Virgil Dubose. Remember, Mother Mary Williams. Remember, Mother Lloyd today. Mother Perry, Mother Meadows, God. Stretch out your healing hand. Remember, Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary, my God, Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges today. God, look on Sister Denise McLean and her granddaughter. God, I'm praying today that you remember Mother Elizabeth Wilson. Remember Brother Carl. Remember Deacon James Grant. Remember, my God, Philip Grant today. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston, God. Remember, my God, in your precious name, Bishop and Mother D, Apostle and Hallelujah, Lady Keith today. Remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins. Remember Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today, God. Your healing touch upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. God, remember Remember, in the name of Jesus, everybody, remember my God, Bishop, hallelujah, Clonell Williams, remember my God, hallelujah, Mother Carol Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk, remember my God, Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Irving Taylor. Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold today, remember my God, hallelujah, 
Bishop William Jenkins, remember, my God, Bishop Johnny Davis this morning. Lord, everybody that needs a healing touch, remember them. Remember, my God, Lady J. Remember, Lady Smith. Remember, Sister T today. In the name of Jesus, remember, Lady, hallelujah, Barbara Vincent. Lady Kathy Forehand today. Remember, my God, Lady Pamela Davenport. In the name of Jesus, remember, my God, Mother Stokes. God, look on Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles. Charles Williams. Remember my God Apostle. Hallelujah. Sylvester Norwood. Remember Brother Wiggins. Remember Brother and Mother Sherrod. Mother Garland this morning. Dr. Haywood. Sister Haywood. Dr. Haywood's mother. I pray today that you remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride. Remember my God. Hallelujah. Elder and Mother Dugan today. Elder and Mother Murray. Brother and Mother Chambers this morning. Mother Carter. Mother Moorhead. Lady Staten today. Remember Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. My God. Remember Hallelujah, Mother Foster, Henry J, and Brother Cliff, Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons. Remember, my God, Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess today. Remember Marlette. Remember Maurice today. Remember, my God, Tony. Remember Dennis this morning. Remember, my God, Cynthia. Remember Chris today. Remember Mother, Hallelujah, Jackson. Remember Apostle Moultrie today. God, I pray that you would go to every single hospital and bring healing and deliverance. Remember, my God, nurse homes, rehab centers. Remember those even in hospice, God. Touch them and deliver them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today for the grieving right now. People everywhere has lo have lost loved ones. Lord God, friends, relatives. Oh God, people that they care about. But Lord, we're praying right now that you would undertake on their behalf. Lord, I'm praying in the name of Jesus. Did you rem remember my God, Elder and Mother Dugan. Remember, Lord God, District Elder Shy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Deacon Shy and the Shy family. God, remember in the name of Jesus, Minister Jamie Carr and his family. Mission, oh God, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. Remember, my God, in your precious name. Hallelujah. Oh God, Mother Sally Carr in the name of Jesus. Remember, my God, missionary Anita Bryant. My God, remember everybody that is grieving today. The Young family. Remember, my God, Elder Young. Oh God, remember Sister Marilyn. Remember Minister Ronald Young. Remember Peggy Roberts niece and family, the Walker family, Mother Rose Parrott, remember Kennesaw University, remember the Bond family, remember Mildred Dabney and family, the Harris family, the Holt and Harris family, the McCoy family today, remember Anita McKenzie and family, remember Kathy Myers and family, Michael Gordon, the Battle family, the Myers family, the Hopkins family, the Jackson family, the Sy family, remember Clifton Staten and family, the Ellis family, remember my God, hallelujah, the Taylor family. Remember Miss Lynn Bonkiva and family. Anaya Hatcher. Oh God, everybody that's grieving everywhere. God, touch them, strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying today that you remember Mother Walker and Mother Moya, that you remember Jalisa, that you remember Jackie, that you remember Takesha. Remember Phoenicia and Whitney and Jerry and their families. Remember Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and the family. I pray for Apostle Fee Shekinah and the family. I pray for the Quarles family, for Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. I pray, God, that you remember the Meadows family. Hallelujah. The Moyer family. Remember the Perkins family. Remember Sister Dockery, her mother and her sisters today. God, remember my God in the name of Jesus. Remember every grieving family, the White family, in your precious name. Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family, the Nunn family, the Umstead family, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family. God, remember Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, I'm praying today that you would look on everybody that's grieving and touch and comfort them now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, God, hallelujah, remember the Middletons and the Taylors, I pray for the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Phillips, the Taylors, the Josephs, the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, my God, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, the Austin family, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, 
parent, sibling, loved one. God, remember them now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. I pray for every, my God, bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children. God, remember mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. Remember the young people today. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, the entire body of Christ today. God, give wisdom to the church. Give knowledge, understanding to the church now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you remember school employees and students everywhere. Remember during public schools. I pray for everybody that works, that you would cover them and keep them and protect them. Everybody that needs a job, that you would create an opportunity. And God, look on those on fixed incomes. God, make a way, open a door, and keep them. Those that are homeless, God, Lord, deliver them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, look on this troubled world, trouble everywhere, trouble all over the globe and every nation. But God, you remain the bomb in Gilead, so heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today. We need you every day. Cover us, keep us, bless us. And as you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and give God praise right now. Everybody on this line, let's offer God praise right now because he's worthy, because he's worthy, because he's worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's right, give God praise. This is my declaration for today. The Lord gives wisdom. The Lord gives wisdom wisdom. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You would much rather have God give you wisdom than that you gather wisdom all through experience. I have said this many times because it's the truth that experience is the best teacher, but it's a very expensive teacher. Hallelujah. It's the best teacher. Yeah, it's good. Hallelujah. You know it after you've lived through it. But if there are some things you don't have to live through simply because you learn, hallelujah, through wisdom or you learn through observance or you learn through instruction, that's a much better way to live. Hallelujah. You know, hell is hot. But I don't have to go to hell to know that hell is hot. I can take the wisdom of the scripture and know that I don't want to be lost. I want to be raptured. I want to be ready when Jesus Christ comes. So hallelujah, God is giving wisdom. Be able to receive it. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. And thank God, hallelujah, for you joining us this morning. I'm praying that this biblical meditation has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook. YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep sharing the number. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to thank everybody that seeds and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we thank God for them, and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also stay you can also give electronically our website is www.refuge temple n as in north c as in carolina.com refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page if you have the givelify app just type in refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place and you can make your gift through givelify or if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital o n e capital r e f u g e 
one refuge one refuge the words and you can give there you'll see a picture of the church logo and we thank you for your giving but we thank you most of all for being connected with the morning prayer family because God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying together each day and so I just want to encourage you to keep coming I want to encourage you to join us next week for the region 5 conference it's going to be a hybrid conference some online some in person on Thursday night we are sharing from the Caribbean we've got singing preaching hallelujah encouragement and greetings from all over our churches in the Caribbean and you want to be a part of that you can also hallelujah travel with us there's still time there's still time to travel with us hallelujah to the St. Kitts St. Lucia and to Jamaica and you just need to sign up quickly so that we can get you the information so you can make your reservations and join us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to be a great mission. It's going to bless you and you're going to be a blessing. Look, I want to thank God for the entire morning prayer family. Everybody that's connected with this prayer, we're praying for you and I'm asking you to pray for us. Pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us and let's pray one for another that the grace of God might be extended to all of us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.